encouraged their daughter to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. To the two of you today, I want to tell you how grateful I am today to be a part of this wonderful marriage. You family that I've met this week. But uh, there are some very special things about marriage. Matter of fact, there are, I believe there are three gifts of marriage. There are the companionship of marriage, the passion, which I think I feel a lot of passion here today. And then there is a purpose of marriage. Uh, Marriage is going to be the beginning, the beginning of your family. Man. And uh, it is a long life of commitment. It also provides the opportunity for the both of you to grow together. Marriage is more than just a physical union. It is also a spiritual and emotional union. This union mirrors the relationship between God and the church. Today, Nick and uh, family and Katie, uh, last time I'll say Cumberland, amen, and her family, this marriage will work together with the unity and the love between these two families coming, coming together like you two do today. Marriage works when families work together. And I will say, just looking at your family and Nick getting to know your family, this is a tremendous blessing. I love both of your families and enjoy being with them. But uh, today we join you two together, holy matrimony, and also we join together these two families. I can just imagine the cookouts and, the, and, and some of the parties that you'd be having. Amen. I hope I get invited to that. Amen. But uh, I put together some minister's remarks to both of you. Now I do know, Katie, just a little bit better than do you. But, uh, but to you, Nick Wells, uh, I don't know a lot about you, but uh, someone did a very, very good job of raising you. And uh, of course, I met Joe and uh, Lisa, and uh, they have done a tremendous job with you. Not only you, but uh, I think her name is Marie. She's looking at me now, that little red-headed tin hair. I, I wish I could go to this because I bet she's going to outdance everybody tonight. Amen. And uh, you have a very spry family. Cheryl, your mom. Of course, your, your grandparents. You see, he's wiping the sweat off his brow right now. Amen. But uh, they've done a great job with you. I just wanted to say one thing to you, that if you follow their lineage, follow their example, and if you love God, and if you love your wife, and if you have fun, and uh, just don't get carried to get carried away too far, amen. But this is going to be a beautiful wedding, amen, and a beautiful life together. Now, Katie, I do know you a little bit better, and I've been so blessed to be uh, a pastor of your family. And uh, you're you are a very very special lady, and I've watched you, and uh, with uh, along with the others, but you have a very strong uh, personality. And it's, it's needful sometimes. Sometimes the wife has to help lead. And that's the truth. And, uh, and uh, when you asked me to do your wedding here today, uh, I would I'd love to do it. But had I said no, I bet I would have been chased down into the heavens by your Nana. Yeah. She, would have, she, she would have chased me down. And, uh, but uh, I'm looking out at your other, your other family, grandmas and grandpas. You just have a beautiful family. And uh, I'm so, so glad to be able to do this today. But uh, I want you to stay strong. Stay committed to what you believe in. Use your intuition. You have great intuition. And, uh, of course, I know your mom very well, slash Kelly. I know her and all your family. But uh, I, I just want to say that this big family is going, going to get bigger today. Let all the family say amen. But uh, I want you to continue to believe in God. 
I want you to love your husband. I want you to stay true to yourself and who you are. I would like at this time to do the, they have chosen to do the wedding vows, and I would like for them to repeat after me. If you would just uh, hold hands together. Katie, I want you to repeat after me. I, Katie. I, Katie. Take you, Nick. Take you, Nick. To be my husband. To be my husband. My closest friend. My closest friend. My faithful partner in life. My faithful partner in life. And my one and true love. And my one and true love. On this special day. On this special day. On this special day. I give to you. I give to you. My sacred promise. My sacred promise. To stay by your side. To stay by your side. As your faithful wife. As your faithful wife. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And in joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. Through the good times and bad. Through the good times and the bad. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Comfort you in times of distress. Laugh with you. Laugh with you. Cry with you. Cry with you. Always be open and honest. Always be open and honest. And cherish you as long as we both shall live. And cherish you as both as we both shall live. All right. Nick, are you ready for this? You have all the words, but they're vows. <laughs> I'm Nick. I'm Nick. Take you, Katie. Take you, Katie. To be my wife. To be my wife. My closest friend. My closest friend. My faithful partner in life. My faithful partner in life. And my one and only true love. My one and only true love. On this special day. On this special day. I give to you. I give to you. My sacred promise. My sacred promise. To stay by your side. To stay by your side. As your faithful husband. In sickness and in health, in sickness and, in health. And, joy and, sorrow, and joy and sorrow, through good times, through good times. and bad. And bad. I want to just slow down on that because I want to make sure <laughs> and we, we understand that in good times and bad times, okay. I promise to love you, I promise to love you. Without, without reservation, comfort you in times of distress, comfort, comfort you without times of distress. Laugh, with you. laugh with you, cry with you, cry with you. always be open and honest with you. Always and cherish you as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Yeah, thank the Lord. At this time, they have chose to have a unity candle to bring their lives together and these two families together.
Rings Tanner as he comes. This is really the moment where two becomes one. In the eyes of the Lord. And uh, in all reality, I'd like to say that uh, as a minister and probably a strong family member, I'd like to tell you that two should never just become as one. Three should become one. And it's very important that you put God first in your life. And you put one another uh, just as important one to another equally. And uh, they have chosen the rings and uh, so many people have have tried to come up with fancy little things to say during the ring ceremony. But the ring is just a circle and it talks about the ever-ending love that you have with one another. And I'd like to tell you a few things that I like to look at. It. It's uh, The ring says it all in all reality. And uh, it says that you two belong to one another. And uh, it also says that uh, everybody else is off limits. Don't you like that? And uh, not only does it say that, it says you are mine and you are one another's. And it also says leave him alone and leave her alone. There's a lot of things this ring says. So it's important to wear that ring with pride and look at it. Because it's an endless love that you share with one another. And today as you make these vows before God, I want you to know that it's a reminder from God what you have done today. And it's a reminder forever. Amen. But, but you've chosen today, and Nick, I would like for you to repeat after me. I, Nick. All right, Nick. Take you, Katie. Take you, Katie. Uh, and, I and I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vows. And a, symbol of my vows. And a commitment of my love. That I that I have made to you today. That I made to you today. Katie. Katie. I would love to be your husband. I would love to be your husband. Put that on her. There you go. It's all. Katie, I would like for you to repeat after me. I, Katie. I, Katie. Give to you, Nick. Give to you, Nick. This ring is a symbol of my vows. Ring is a symbol of my vows. And a commitment of my love. And a commitment of my love. That I have made to you today. That I have made to you today. Nick. Nick. I would love to be your wife. I would love to be your wife. I would like for you to join with me as I place your hands together. And I would love to pray for both of you. And I would like for the, both families to join in with me in prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, I love you today. So appreciative of this beautiful day you've given this couple. And I feel the presence of the Lord just fill the sanctuary. And I know that they'll remember this day for the rest of their life. Because this is a special union. And you put these two together. Not only these two, but beautiful families. There's grandchildren involved. And there's aunts and uncles. And moms and dads. There's, I believe even there's people looking from heaven over this union today. Amen. And I pray the blessings of the Lord over both of them. Continue, God, to be with them, protect them. I pray a heads of protection around them and this family. Because, Lord, a day that we live in, we need one another more than we ever have before. So I pray the blessings of God over this marriage. And I thank God for it. And let the whole congregation say, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank the Lord. At this time, I would like to tell you, amen. Nick, you may kiss the bride. together. I am proud today to introduce to you for the first time uh, Mr. and Mrs. Nick and Katie Welsh.